Hi everyone, it's Lisa here, and um, I'm just here today with a very, very quick video. Um, I'm going to review this food ball pen. It's the 1.5. Um, let me just see if I can show you a little better picture. There we go. So I've been playing with it over uh, the last little bit here, like the last week, ever since uh, my confession time on Sandra's and my podcast. And um, I just wanted to do a general uh, review with you. Um, I have been using it, like I said. I just want to compare um, a couple things for you, um, just because it is a little bit of a different pen. Um, it is a pigment ink pen, if you can see that, and it's distributed by Ranger Ink. Um, I did get mine from Wendy's online shop and she is W squared scrapbooking.com and I'll leave a link over to her shop if you want to check it out. Um, the latest pen I've been using is the Sharpie pen. Um, I got a pack of pens, these Sharpie pens, and there were some different colors like, sorry, there's this green one. I'm just trying to pull them out of my little bin here and see if I can find them. Um, that's a Sharpie. There's like pink, purple, blue, uh, green, black. I think there was like six colors. So I've been using the black one and it works quite well. So I thought I would show a couple things with you. I'm just going to grab a picture here to show you. I'm going to grab one that is a duplicate so that way it doesn't matter because I wanted to show you what it's like to uh, write on a picture. Here we go. Here we are. So don't freak out. These are extra pictures. They're duplicates. Um, they are just kind of extra pictures that I accidentally printed out. So do not freak out when I start writing over top of them. Okay, so this one I know for sure I have in my album. Okay, so um, I'm just going to show you the Sharpie one first. Let me just... I'm zoomed in really close here, see if we can do that. So the Sharpie pen to write on a picture, just hello. And then if you go over top of it, it smudges. So, and I didn't let it dry, so just a heads up. And then this one, if I go, oops, doesn't write over top of pictures very well. I don't know if that's just because that's where the um, Sharpie was and it does smudge. So they both smudge on the pictures. So just keep that in mind. It's not uh, really great for writing on top of pictures. So just keep that in mind. Um, as for writing, this is um, just a package from uh, Freckled Fawn. So if I go, hello, and then this is the Sharpie. I just want to show you um, that this is this this is the food, and then this is the um, the sharpie. And you can see that this one's quite a bit of a finer tip, and then this one's quite a bit of a a bolder tip. Um, so it takes a little bit of practice uh, to write with, just for myself, just because I'm so used to writing with the thinner one. And you can see it's smudging. And this one's smudging as well. And it's just because it's probably on the glossy finish. Um, as for on, oops, a cardstock finish. So you can see no smudge, no smudge. Actually, this one smudged a little bit. And that one smudged a little bit. But I think this is where I was really excited to get this pen. So in my art journaling, and if you do art journaling, the biggest frustration you have is when you start writing on top of surfaces and it doesn't really, um, the pen doesn't write nice, if that makes sense. It'll skip, it'll jump, it'll, you know, just kind of go all over the place. So. I'm just trying to find one here 
where I can sh show you. I was drawing on these pages, and it, it does take really, really well. Um, so I think this was, yeah, here's the one I was using. So um, I've already wrote in here, and this is with the food ball, and you can see no smudges. And it's over top of sprays, gesso, uh, paint. Um, this is modeling paste over here, and I just kind of drew around the modeling paste. And again, it's not smudging. So if I go, life is awesome. You can see that there and no smudge. So I don't know why it smudges on paper and it doesn't smudge in the art journal, but it works awesome. So um, I was going over this. Let me just get a little close so you can see. So this is modeling paste and it's quite chunky. So I was just going tracing around it and I don't really care. This is just kind of a junk journal now. So but it writes really nice over top, like even if I wanted to color this in. If I color that in, you know, you, actually it's smudged a little bit, but that's okay in here because if you wanted to blend it out, you could. But it didn't smudge at all over here. Not at all. See, like if I go like this, okay, so my finger is dirty here. I'm going to use this finger. We'll put like a heart or something. We'll even go over it a couple times. See? Like hardly anything. So, um, as for writing in your art journals, I think it's really, really nice. If we go like this. And then you go Sharpie. Now, if you see, it's hard to tell on the camera, but this one is just very fluid. It writes really nice. It doesn't feel like it's catching when you write it, so it writes really nice. And my thumb was sturdy before, so don't go by that, but it doesn't really smudge. And then this Sharpie, it's not really smudge. Well, it's kind of fading, so I think it is smudging a little bit. Yeah, it is. So you can see it's smudging a little bit. Um, but when you're writing over top of the gesso, it's kind of, it's not fluid. You can feel like the pen's almost sinking into the gesso and just kind of like getting in the grooves and stuff, if that makes sense. So I just think for art journaling, if you're looking for a really, really good pen, I would recommend this one. Um, I've used it for journaling. It's not my favorite journaling pen in my scrapbooks but when it comes to my art journaling like journaling in it I really like it so I like the sharpie for my scrapbooking and project life and my food pen I really really like for um, my art journaling so and I hope that's how you pronounce it because I'm thinking like dude like d-u-d-e so I'm saying food so I hope that's right so um, that's the review for you. Uh, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, leave them below. And I will leave a link um, to Wendy's shop where I purchased those. And she has a couple other colors, so you might want to check that out. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.